It's been about almost a year, 12 months, since the coronavirus reared its head in Ghana. Now, as part of efforts to fight the disease, we've been asked to wear a mask, wash our hands, keep our social distance and all. But now, the fight against the virus has gone a notch higher with the introduction of vaccines. Now, Ghana took delivery of its uh, vaccines, uh, that is the AstraZeneca vaccine, as well as the Sputnik V uh, vaccine, uh, some days ago. The president and his uh, wife, uh, accompanied by also the vice president and his spouse, all have taken their vaccines. But what is the plan looking like in terms of deployment? What is the preparedness of our health uh, workers to be able to support these, this uh, deployment uh, program? Well, you're watching the City Newsroom as we bring you a comprehensive look at uh, the commencement of the vaccination process in Ghana. For now, however, let's bring you a report on the vaccination process that took place today with the president and his spouse, as well as the vice president and his better half. The president arrived at the 37 military hospital in the company of his wife, Rebecca Kufado, to take their jabs of the COVID-19 vaccine. The president and the first lady went through the procedure before taking the injection. The 600,000 doses of COVAX vaccine arrived in the country last week Wednesday from the Serum Institute of India. Ghana thus became the first country in Africa to receive the vaccine. Before taking his job, President Akufado urged all Ghanaians who qualify to take the vaccine to do so. We've all had a very difficult time this last year. Unfortunately, scientists in the world have now found what could be a permanent antidote to this, I can only call it a pestilence that has affected all of our lives this last year. It's important that I set the example that this vaccine is safe by being the first to have it so that everybody in Ghana can feel comfortable about taking this vaccine. It is important that everybody, at the end of the day, is vaccinated, and that's our objective. The Vice President, Dr. Mohamed Baumia, and his wife, Samira Baumia, were next to take the vaccine. They arrived at the police hospital here in Accra to go through the procedure. Before taking his vaccine, the Vice President urged all Ghanaians to eschew all forms of fear and get injected. So we ask for your patience, we ask for your cooperation. Uh, as we go. But please don't listen to the naysayers who want to uh, spread conspiracy theories about this vaccine. As the president said last night, it is not going to uh, change your DNA or have all these uh, fant uh, <laughs> effects that they are talking about in the conspiracies. Please, this is to protect the health of our people in Ghana. It is to protect all of us, protect our economy uh, so that we move forward. So it is in our collective interest that we take this vaccine. 